Climb through the clutter. These are the hard facts. Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zavolinski, and this week on Hard Facts, we need to have a serious moment. Because you've got to stop, and I mean that with all sincerity. You need to stop all your advertising if you can't manage your showroom and your digital showroom. We're letting things fall through the cracks, and if we're spending all of this money on advertising, I've got to baby shake you. Because our website and our showroom are the two things that are most important to make sure we're paying optimal attention to. And this is what I mean. So what am I talking about? The first is making sure that your showroom is optimal. And what I mean by that is ensuring that there's POS throughout your dealership. Sure, you're assuming that somebody did a bunch of research before coming into the dealership. Our statistics are telling us that that is the case. But what are you doing to create that top of mind awareness of all of the reasons that they chose to shop your dealership? Have that POS, have that additional value proposition throughout the showroom so when I'm sitting there working a deal with one of your team members, I know that you know what, maybe it is worth that increased price compared to the other store down the road because in addition to that I'm going to get this advantage package or I'm going to get this you know insert dealership name promise here it's that additional value that you need to communicate through and through and throughout the buying process to that customer to show them why they're purchasing from your dealership versus another are your ads lacking creativity do you or your agency not know digital are you not hitting your goals sounds like it's time for a new agency Let's talk today. Call 866-543-4485 or email yes at ppadv.com. Okay, so you've got POS throughout your showroom. There's tons of other process, protocols, and procedures that we should be utilizing, but let's talk about your digital showroom. So a lot of us have mandated manufacturer websites, and some of us have taken that extra step to have two websites to really capitalize on the technology that other platforms are providing us that our manufacturers aren't mandating. But here's the thing, whether you have one or two websites and it's manufacturer mandated, that content is crap. I'm sorry, it's crap most of the time. The landing pages add some additional SEO value, some additional content value, but that landing page that's going across all of our Toyota dealers, all of our Honda dealers' websites, what added value is that giving you compared to your competition? If you ask me, not very much. So are you going through your website on a weekly, on a monthly basis, ensuring that your specials are up to date? Are they unique to your dealership? Are you making sure that your inventory is merchandised and showing up correctly? Yeah, we've talked about all of this before, but it seems like no matter how many websites we spot check here at Pochats, we're still finding errors. I know nothing's perfect, and neither are we, but here's the thing. You've got to make sure you're merchandising your inventory correctly. You need to make sure your web panels and landing pages are consistently added and updated to your website. Are your hours and directions as up to date as possible? And how about refreshing the overall look of your website periodically? Are you doing any heat mapping and user testing to see if individuals are engaging with you on those hot areas you're assuming are the highest conversion tools on your site? These are things your partner should be doing, your agency partners or additional vendors you're working with but so many of you are those eager team members who are doing this internally at the dealership. So make sure you have a process that's ensuring all of this information is up to date. Make sure with all of our 2016s beginning to hit the lot as well as a lot of them that have previously hit our lot, what are we doing to promote that inventory? Although we've got to move those 2015s, have that be your sales event, but market the specific vehicles that are 2016s that have now hit your lot with landing pages, web panels, some video pre-roll. What are you doing to increase the merchandising on your VDP and SRP pages of those vehicles? And here's a really big thing. As those videos, or excuse me, as those vehicles continue to roll out, video is more and more important. I had a client call me the other day, and tell me about how somebody found his dealership looking up a specific new vehicle that had come out on the lot. Didn't know anything about their dealership, but wanted to know more about that inventory. So there's the opportunity to utilize that as a traffic source for your dealership. And it increases the merchandising on your website, on your third party websites, as well as on your social media platforms. Those are just a few things you guys have got to make sure are updated and are being kept fresh and up to date as much as possible. If you need some recommendations and tips on how to do that, or maybe you're looking for a new partner to make sure these things don't fall through the crack, let me know. That's just another example of how a hard fact turns into a solid strategy. Like, tweet, or comment below on a topic you'd like me to cover, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>